you want to VJ, but you need a laptop. You asked on a forum or a Facebook group, and all you got was snarky responses. You got this old MacBook kicking around. Will that do the job? I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California. And I'm going to give you my professional recommendations on what you need inside a VJ computer so you can go out there and start VJing with confidence. Obviously, you need a computer, and it probably should be a powerful laptop. But what makes a good VJ laptop? If you look at the minimum requirements for the VJ software Resolume, they're pretty minimal. Any old laptop can run it. But what do you need to run it with multiple 4K outputs, tons of content and effects in the scorching heat of a summer festival? They recommend a bit more than the bare minimum. And so do I. Priority number one is a powerful GPU that can handle multiple high-res outputs. Next on the list is a good amount of fast solid-state storage. You'll also need a fast multi-core CPU and plenty of RAM. Finally, you'll want to balance cooling and portability. Let's break it down a little more. A dedicated graphics card will make sure you have enough power to run multiple high resolution outputs. Make sure you have two or three outputs available so you can operate complex LED walls or multi projector setups. As a rule of thumb, get the best you can afford within your budget. And this goes for all the components I'm about to list. My recommendation for a graphics card is a 20 series or better, like a 2070 or 2080. My current machine has a 2080 and it performed great this last festival season. But if you can afford one of the newer 30 series, or if you're watching this in the future and you can get the 50, whatever the fuck, go for it. Get the best piece your budget will allow. This is the key factor. Next on the list, fast SSD or M.2 storage. This will allow you to store and read a ton of large video files without any delay. Get at least one terabyte for content. Those video files add up quickly and you need to make sure you have space for those last minute content drops five minutes before the set. Sometimes you can save some money by upgrading this yourself. Get the machine with the graphics card you want but with a little bit less storage and then upgrade the M2 or the SSD once you get the machine. Oftentimes you can get the upgrade for less than the manufacturer would charge you to have it pre-installed. This also applies to RAM. RAM and a decent processor will help with overall performance and are especially useful if you plan to be making content on this machine. Any modern multi-core processor with pretty high clock speeds should do the trick. I recommend a six core processor with 3.5 gigahertz clock speed and at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you plan to make content on this machine or you have a little bit of extra space in the budget, it never hurts to get more processing power and RAM. The last thing to consider is cooling versus portability. Smaller laptops are much more portable, easier to toss in a backpack or case to travel with, but oftentimes have worse cooling which can throttle performance and cause you to drop frames. On the other hand, large full-size laptops often have better cooling because there's more space for airflow, but they weigh a fuck ton and you're gonna break your back. I personally still prefer the big boys, but find what works for you based on the type of VJ you're going to be doing. And be sure to check reviews and chat with other VJs for signs of overheating problems. So, what do I use and what do I recommend based on what I see other people in the field using? I have an Alienware Area 51 M 17 inch laptop. It has a full size 2080 GPU, an i9 9900K processor, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I also have a few terabytes of M2 storage installed, and I upgraded the RAM and memory myself because this machine is easy to take apart and do those types of things. Doing so, I saved a few hundred dollars off the sticker price. Other brands that I see out in the field a lot are Sager's, MSI, and Asus machines. In summary, get the best machine that you can afford and use this as your priority order. Get a fast, modern GPU capable of handling multiple outputs. 
20 series or better. You get a terabyte or a few terabytes of fast SSD or M2 storage, a multi-core processor with fast clock speeds, a bunch of RAM, and make sure that it doesn't have any cooling issues and it's not going to break your back. If you'd like more specific recommendations and reviews, I have other videos on this channel about computers that are great for VJing. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.